order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you SLA workflow ServiceNow uses workflow in SLA to send notifications there are two out-of-the-box SLA workflow one is default SLA workflow another one is SLA notification and escalation workflow the default SLA workflow is pretty much straightforward where it also sends a notification to the assignee of the task maybe the assignment group or the assignee of the task for example incident assignee or assignment group another SLA we have is SLA notification and escalation workflow where it sends the notifications to assignee assignment group if there is a supported by field on the configuration item or it can also send a notification to assignee manager and that's the reason the name of the workflow is escalation workflow it totally depends on you while creating the SLA definition which SLA workflow you want to use you can also edit the workflow which is already there out of the box or you can create a new workflow your own workflow as per the requirement from your customers but before creating a customized workflow you should always see how exactly out-of-the-box workflow works if that is sufficient for your requirement that should you should not create any new workflow for your SLA definitions as an example you can see we have default SLA workflow on the screen which is start so SLA gets started at begin then we have it waits for 50% of SLA duration so if you have 8 hours of resolution duration then it will wait for 4 hours if 4 hours are done and SLA has not been stopped yet it will send a reminder it will create that event and that notification will be sent to the assignee of that particular task then it goes to the next point where we have wait for 25 percent that means 75 percent has been elapsed now only two hours are left six hours are done in that case again it will send a reminder or a notification to the assignee of the task and finally when SLA has been breached that means eight hours are done and the assignee has not resolved the incidents yet in that case assignee will get the notification for breach as well at the same time you will see the assignee manager will also get the notification that hey SLA has been breached and at the end it's done with the workflow that's how your SLA workflow works let me show you in my personal developer instance now this is the application we have here we have workflow editor if you will click on workflow editor it will take you to the workflow where you will see different workflows of your platform this is the workflow editor and if I will search here and I will type SLA you will find three workflows now this is for repair workflow that automatically runs so you don't have to select this one the one which sends the notification that will be this one that is default SLA workflow or SLA notification and escalation workflow if I click here and if I open default SLA workflow this is the same workflow which we were talking about this is the default SLA workflow if I open SLA notification and escalation workflow you will see a difference here you can see you have this here CI supported by is also notified and assignee manager is also notified for 25% of SLA as well but if I talk about default SLA workflow the manager is notified only on when SLA is breached so that's the difference between two workflows 
And if you want to create a new workflow, you can also create it and attach to your SLA definition. And if I go to my SLA definition, here is the workflow field where you can select different workflows as per the requirement you have. Please continue to watch this series for further videos. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.